Hey guys, this is Nathan, and we're gonna go do uh, Nor's Fortress Undetected. It's one of the easier ones of the outposts, and definitely of the fortresses. Um, you can get all of them undetected. Everything. But, if you're that type of guy, I know why you're watching this. Uh, the enemy AI can be really ridiculous in turning around right at the right moment and sometimes certain paths work better this one there is definitely a certain path that pays off to getting undetected it just takes many tries and it depends on how you go about it so I say how you go about it for a reason so the, the ways you can go about it, there's three ways. You can do what I'm gonna do, which is sneak around, not tag anybody, hope for the best, throw rocks, and try to hide the bodies. The other options are using what should be already turned on in your um, settings, if it's like, if you haven't turned them off. Auto-tagging for weapons and auto-tagging for the camera. So you can tag everybody and then watch them move around. And then beyond that, there's um, using the hunting syringe. The hunting syringe works for people too. You just have to hit LB and RB at the same time. It's the right hand one. It requires a red and blue leaf. And one that's going, everybody lights up. Every living thing lights up. Um, but the problem with it is, and unless you continue to inject yourself with it, unless you tag the enemies, they will de-highlight. So the reason why Norse Fortress is a good place to try to get undetected. Is there's two secret paths. There's this secret path, and you can see two best friends right there. They're annoying. They're the hardest to separate. And then there's this secret path. And this path, I think, is the best route to go. Because I think it's always smarter to start at the top floor, depending on the layout of the outpost or fortress, because some of them have multi multiple buildings. A lot of them have multiple buildings. Some of them have inner parts to those buildings. So it can vary. I like to drop in this way. And start with this guy up top. Because even though he seems kind of like an airhead. When, when I haven't killed him first. It's backfired on me. Because then I throw too many rocks or something. And they start going, start looking. And they freak out. And then he's one of them that starts looking, and he's up top, so he has this great aerial view. I kind of want to move him, to be honest. It's best to, like, line them up up against walls and stuff so that people can't see them. There's a sniper here. I recommend killing him last. He's a problem because other people can see him and they watch his back. So I don't... We need to start to separate these guys. The best way to do that... Huh? Is 
to start it early. Lucky that that slash didn't do anything. To be real with you, a lot of times it can actually cause detection. Sometimes it doesn't. I think maybe it depends on the lo like location of the other enemies and if they can hear you. Mostly if the guy from behind heard you do it. He's not like, where's my friend? Where's my best buddy? Where'd he go? stairs.
we're down to about three guys, I think. Four, maybe. And you're going to judge me for this, but this is my eighth attempt. Because I refuse to tag them. Um, and it may seem all good in the hood right now, but it is not all good in the hood. There is another heavy that circulates this area, and it might take 50 seconds for him to come and do his circle. But last time, I was like, I killed that guy, and I went to grab him, and the heavy watched me as I carried him off. And here we are, doing it again. So it seems kind of stupid, but it's not. We can't fight effectively when our stomachs are troubling. I think I could get a better angle to watch them. You know what? I do hear someone moving. I don't know where he's moving, but that was not my footsteps. That's all I know. I feel like they're playing games with me. No, they're not. I did hear those footsteps. We gotta wait for that guy to move down the staircase. He shouldn't come back up here. For just long enough. I don't want to throw a rock because they're so undisturbed. They have no idea what's happening. Nirta has the best cell roti hands down. Best in the world. Alright. So we need to pick him up now. And I'm gonna start walking very soon. Walking can definitely alert them, but not the same way running can. Running, you're asking for it. It almost seems like I should take the guy from upstairs and put him here, but I'm not going to do that. So let's wait for this heavy to come back up the stairs. There he is. I'd walk up behind him right now and maybe we could have made it, but with, with my luck and the way tonight's been, he'll turn right when I start to go behind him. And he'll look right at me. Grab this guy. So there's two more guys left. Sniper should come last. And we're gonna watch out for this one guy um, down below. You could shoot him. There's a chance that if you shoot them fast enough, especially if you have aim assist. I still don't have aim assist, but I'm not really gonna title it no aim assist because... I'm not shooting at them, so it's kind of pointless. I haven't shot at anybody, I don't think. Maybe 
So this guy is our little outlier. He's doing. Ooh, you're coming up here. I don't. I didn't expect that. The shipment was supposed to be here hours ago. Maybe the shipment hit a roadblock. Or an elephant. Come on, come on. I tried, for the record, to throw. Alright. We can get detected at any moment. All it takes is that sniper turning around. But he's got one job in mind watching the outside of the fortress. And none of them really got suspicious, which is good. It's a beautiful body pile, but they, some of the guys despawned. It would have been more beautiful if they didn't despawn them. So the sniper, I'm not sure what the right route is to getting him. You have to make sure you headshot that guy before he turns around. You don't have to kill anyone with a headshot to get undetected. But the thing is, if that detection meter goes off, it's done. So... There are... I think three different ways you can get to where the sniper is. There's the lower route. I believe you can grapple up to the wall. I'm not positive. Yeah, you can grapple right there. But that's setting yourself up for failure if you don't tag them. You can go down this way. Or you can use a ladder. up there and go that way. I feel like he's jonesing for me. skill and we're all good that and that's how you take Norse fortress undetected so peace out